Hey friends, welcome back to Bitfumes. I'm your host Sarthak and this is a channel where I talk about Laravel and the cool thing about Laravel. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. So in this episode, we are going to learn about file, multiple file upload. So how you can upload more than one file at once. Let's see. So in the last episode, I have created many things just like model. Here is file model and the controller so inside app http controllers this is file controller and the migration so migration is inside database migration here is the migration which has two fields the name and the size so and after that the upload.blade.php here i have a form to upload a file and here I have made some changes. I have named the file and then this square bracket. It displays as file name is a array. Okay, and obviously we want to upload multiple files. So that's why I have given an attribute of multiple is equal to true. Or you can simply give it multiple also. And obviously here the submit button need to submit the form form is uploaded to upload dot file route and where is that route route is here upload dot file because form submits the request with post method so here the method post route is called with that name and obviously this route is for showing the file which is here the page okay so let's quickly see how we will create that thing so i will open my controller and here is my controller and inside here you can see i have the code for uploading a single file so this is not here what i have done here i am getting the original file name the original size of file then I'm storing it to public slash upload folder which is here inside storage app public upload okay then I am saving this information into database and here is the database and here is the thing okay so let's quickly delete these things so that we can see the changes delete it and now what I have to do I am just going to return request so that i can see what i am getting so here refresh the page choose more than one file so like this okay open submit and you can see the file variable has three things obviously it's not getting anything so let's move on to the controller and here i will say if request has file then Go here and now what I am going to do you can see a file is an array having three elements so now I will use for each loop and here I will say dollar request arrow file and why I have used arrow file because of this because it's a element of request array that's why request arrow file as file okay and now what i am trying to do i will just try to print our file let's see what happened and return and try to comment this out so that it will not save anything and it will not give any error so now refresh and you can see it's having all of these things but I want to see only name so what I will do I will just uncomment this line and go here and I will say only file and here file name so let's see refresh the page and you can see the first file is ajax 7.1 jpg then second is ajax 7.2 jpg and third is this and lastly the yes from this return 
so obviously what we can do we can just give an br tag so let's try to refresh again and it's now clear okay so now we have to save each and every file to database it's very simple because we have already everything written uncomment this move this line up and it's obviously done little tweaks delete request arrow file and now also this one okay and let's see its name will be file model so instead of this i will select this press ctrl d not this with dollar also ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d ctrl d no it's not it will not work so with arrow yes now it's working so i will say model and here also model save this and obviously after this i want to say nothing because if it just say yes that means our saving part is done so let's go here refresh the page and yes that means it's now saved to database so and let's see here is our database which is empty hit refresh and you can see the three files is now saved at once okay so i think that's so easy thing but obviously i have to show because it's very important aspects of file uploading so obviously then so we will meet in the next episode with the file production part or securing a file okay so if you have any doubt please feel free to comment me don't forget to follow me and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye